We love MIDI. But not all devices have MIDI, such as this Boss DD7 or Teenage Engineering Pocket Operator. So let's take a look at how we can use the Bridge 6 or Bridge 4 to control these non-MIDI devices using the Flexi Ports. Here, I've got MIDI Clock A assigned to foot switch 3, which we can tap the tempo into, like so. I've got Flexi Port 1 configured as a tap tempo sync output, which is going to send switched pulses emulating a tap tempo foot switch to our DD7 to synchronize the tempo. And on Flexi Port 2, I've got a sync pulse output, which is a really sharp, clean, crisp audio square wave output designed for syncing non-MIDI gear, such as this pocket operator, Eurorack modules and synths, or other devices which can synchronize their tempo or timings to an external pulse that isn't a MIDI clock. So we can start or stop the loop using the MIDI clock. You can see that it is currently in the stop configuration where the tempo is being displayed. But when we hold it down, we send a MIDI start command and we also start the loop on the pocket operator. So let's slow that down a little bit. Now I've got this running into a Barber Electronics compressor with the blend at about 50% and full sustain or compression. So we'll turn this on to give us a little bit of extra kick, a bit of sizzle. Now on the DD7, I've just got a reverse delay with fairly low repeats. Bring the level up a little bit. And we can hear some extra rhythmic sound and content being added, making it really exciting and also giving us a nice stereo image in the delay. Then I've got two different mono reverbs, a Cloud9 reverb, which is an older discontinued reverb, really nice modulation, and the Alexander Space Race. So I'm using two different reverbs on the left and right just to give a bit more interest and difference between those two channels. So we can increase the tempo. Everything will sync up perfectly. We can slow it down. And we can also start and stop as you saw before. So we could try a different pattern here, which is this one. Bring the tempo up a little bit. There we go. And we'll bring the repeats up. Getting a lot of percussion there, a lot of sort of choppy rhythm to it. Starting to really take over there on the repeats. When we send a stop, turn those reverbs on. Oh yeah. We can hear that really tail off into the distance. So we'll bring those repeats down again. So now we've got our, our, our loop running. We've got the reverbs going, a bit more of a manageable delay. And you can see how easy it is to synchronize non-MIDI equipment with the MIDI clock on your bridge six or bridge four. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And we look forward to seeing what you guys will create with your pirate MIDI bridge.